Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Kabbalah for Beginners. It deals with all the basic concepts of the wisdom of Kabbalah. Today we have a very special and central topic in the wisdom of Kabbalah called Hitkalelot Incorporation. We will discuss it in light of the Kabbalah convention, which is going to take place in a few days. So you are invited to send us your questions uh, through the internet. We'll be happy to serve you. Welcome to everybody here in the studio in Beit Kabbalah La'am in Petah Tikva. Hello, Rav Leitman. Good evening. Today's topic is incorporation. And also with regard to the Kabbalah convention, we hear a lot about it. I have to tell you, when I came to the Wisdom of Kabbalah, I heard this concept a lot, incorporation, and it took me a long time to understand what it means. So, what does it mean? It Kalilut, incorporation, is the most important action. There is nothing that can be as important as that. It stems because the Creator created the Creator, the, crea the creature, the light created the will to receive, and when it did, so the will to receive, want to receive, and it wants everything in the light, because this is how it's built like, and this is the only thing he yearns for, or wants to come to, it is waiting for it to come and fulfill him, and that's it. And in that, the will to receive is a slave, it's addicted to the light and it feels it as a pleasure, as life, as everything it can want. And the greater or the smaller the will to receive, accordingly it wants more or less, but there's nothing more than wanting the fulfillment, the light that created it, and that's it. And in such a way the will to receive, it's not even called, considered a creature, because it has nothing independent. Creature, it means bow outside, something which is outside the Creator. And in such a way, as we now speak, the will to receive is not considered a creature yet, because it's not outside, it completely depends on the light. Therefore, it has no independence, no, it doesn't have its own personality, nothing. Therefore, we don't refer to it as something that exists seemingly, for it has no independence. What is it? There is no one, nothing to relate to. This is a result of the light. 100% depends on the light, and that's it. It's like a shadow. Can we say that the shadow exists outside of man, or the object it comes from? It's the same thing here. But the Creator, He wants that creature which is the will to receive, to be independent and big and like Him to such an extent that we don't even know what it means to be like Him, like the Creator. But this is something which is completely opposite to how the will to receive was created. It's perhaps we can take an example from a drop of cement. It's a drop which has billions of chromosomes into it, but it's enough that one chromosome will develop. And when it develops, see what it develops into. So it's a much greater distance than that. And we ha the will to receive has to grow, to go through such a big distance because it was created as the shade, as a replica of the light. The Creator, He imprinted the light. He made the opposite of it, and this is how He created the will to receive, and that's all the will to receive has. And as a result, the will to receive begins to develop by the light, by been incorporated by the light, so its all development is because it incorporates with the light, and out of its incorporation it begins to feel all kinds of phenomena other than just wanting. What do I want exactly? That light has different manners, you know, different ways to fulfill me 
can give me different pleasures. Perhaps I will draw myself towards the light in one way or another. So the will to receive starts to develop by the light when it begins to feel different manners, different expressions, changes in the light. Then it begins to be incorporated with the light in such a way that it says, no, it's not enough for me that I want to enjoy from the light. I see that the light is the bestower. I want to feel what it means to bestow. What is it? Who is it? Because I love it, because I feel pleasant from it, I want to be incorporated with it in such a way that I want to understand it, I want to feel it, and who he is, who himself. And then we move from the first discernment of the will to receive, from the first phase of the will to receive. This is what we say, that from the first phase of the will to receive, where it is just a desire, a will to receive, comes the second phase of the will to receive, Prinabet, which says, no, I want to bestow, I don't want to receive, like it created me. I also want to feel him. So from the first Bechina of the will to receive comes the second Bechina. It is incorporated with the light more. It already has the, the form of the, of the light. So the will to receive comes to have the desire to bestow. Well, there is no desire of bestow. It received the form, the shape of the will to bestow. So this is the second Bechina. And then it says, no, it's not enough that I receive the form of bestow. But he gives me a pleasure. That, that light, it comes to me and gives me pleasure. I want to try and give him pleasure in return. This is as a result of the incorporation that it incorporates and incorporates in the light. And then it says, no, I want to work like that myself. So what can I do? How can I give him pleasure? Very simple. How will I give him pleasure? By receiving. So I will receive, but in order to delight him, so I have a will to receive in order to bestow. In order to bestow. And then, now it makes the same action like the Creator. It also bestows upon him by receiving from him. So he says, ooh, I've reached such great things that I give him, I bestow upon him, I feel how he enjoys from me. Now I want to be incorporated with him in such a way that I want to enjoy all of me from what I'm doing for him. And then he comes to a very big will to receive. This is a will to receive, but it's called Malchut, meaning it's very big. This is the fourth Bechina of the will to receive. So what do we see from here? Uh, it's also called Yud K, Vav K. This is Havaya, the name of the Lord, of the Creator. And this is the tip of the Yud. This is called Keter or Shoresh, Root. So we see from here that to start from because the Creator created the will to receive its entire development and everything that happens from the beginning of the creation, then after these four phases, all these four phases, after that we have the world of Adam Kadmon, Atzilut, Bria, Yetzira, Asiya, and then Aulam Azed, this world And it comes to us, and then from this world, in return, we go back to this reality, to the root, our root. So now, in the year 2010, we have to start this ascent. But also the descent to this world, and also the ascent, everything was done by the incorporation, it kalelut. And even more so, 
It's not just an incorporation of the light with the Kli and the Kli with the light, as we've learned. We've seen here in these four phases of direct light. Rather, through the incorporation, it becomes even more, how can I say that? It's, it becomes even more complex, because here in the middle, there is this issue of the shattering of the vessels. And we come to a point where the Kelim, this will to receive the fourth phase of the will to receive and this vast will to receive it begins to be divided into many pieces and these pieces begin to feel themselves very much separated from one another very far away from one another until they begin to feel hatred between them meaning they begin to distance from one another And then we have this situation where I am here in my will to receive. I now begin to feel how much I hate the others and how much they make my life miserable. And I begin to think, what is the meaning in my life? I begin to discover that my life depends on others. And then... I am going to be incorporated with others, again incorporation, but this is not incorporation with the light anymore, rather between these small parts of the vessels, the same will to receive, which was created here, this great vast will to receive which was created here, same will to receive, it now becomes here the same fourth Bechina, The same fourth Bechina, it now divided into many souls, particular souls. And now there is an incorporation with the souls. So what do we gain from that? The f when everybody is incorporated with other souls, me with everyone else, and you with everyone else, and everybody with everyone else, everybody gains through this incorporation this whole general soul which is called Adam. If I'm incorporated with everyone, really, where everybody are incorporated in me, I swallow them seemingly by serving them, by loving them. I am connected to them. I observe their desires. If I want to bestow upon them, so what can I bestow to everybody? And then I absorb, absorb their desires, they become my own. And that is called the incorporation of the desires. And then I reach a state where this whole Adam, this whole man is mean, and you reach a state where let's say you are Niv, right? And here I see Yitzchak is sitting behind you and Hillel, uh, the righteous Hillel, and more. So everybody acquires as a result the whole Kli of Adam Arishon. This is what we've learned, that every soul attains 600,000 th 600, souls. It attains the general soul. So see what's happening here through the incorporation. There is an incorporation between the Kelim there is an incorporation between the creator and the creature, the general creature, where the creature observes all the qualities of the creator and becomes like him. And even more so, by be, being comprised from within, from many pieces, he now has the ability to reach a state where he knows all the details of the creation to its very depth of himself. And by this he reveals what the light did to me. And through that he reveals the Creator through studying myself that means from your actions we have known you I am is the action of the light of the Creator that means that from your actions I learn myself and I come to know you and this is all done through such an action called incorporation uh, shall I continue <laughs>
And if we're talking about what's happening here, this is such a big thing that I cannot stop myself. If we're talking about the state here, in this world. So this is a wonder indeed. There are 17 nations of the world. There is the nation of Israel here. There are all kinds of still vegetative, animate and speaking. So in our world there are many different kinds of incorporation where we break incorporated there is an incorporation in between souls uh, in between souls which come from one incarnation to another there are things here we don't know about but beneath beneath the surface inside our matter there are so many things happening and every moment a man is a new man and he is incorporated with everyone else and everybody else are incorporated with him and throughout history we have numerous incorporations and all that is meant that eventually will come to have one picture well the whole system is revealed as a whole complete and internal system and we already reached the same state inside the Kli, where the Kli and the light will be one. And through the incorporation, we reach a state where the creature becomes whole, complete, eternal, exactly like the Creator. And this is all done through the incorporation. Okay, so we have a quote here which speaks about it from the writings of the Rabash. Let's read it. It's the quote of the Agra where he speaks about what incorporation is. He writes the following. It's the second quote. Incorporation, it kalilut, meaning that everybody, every particular in Israel should be incorporated in the general. The particular has only what there is in the general. All of Israel are responsible for one another. Every particular is a part of the general. There is no separated particular in Israel from all aspects, from the collective and with the help of the others. Also in slandering one another because Jerusalem was destroyed because they slandered one another. Okay, the Agra speaks closer to our reality and how we have to reach a correction through the incorporation. And really we see that the incorporation exists in several levels. Well, the whole world is in conflicts, disputes, in trade, in their discovering of continents, in politics, in everything. Now we discover even more. We discover how global and integrated the world is, how everybody are dependent on everyone else. What is revealed in our world today, the trade, the languages, it started from ancient Babylon where we had the first incorporation of the mixture of uh, the languages and what happened as a result. Throughout history we can also see how much in these, through these uh, special steps, everything was done through the incorporation and the history we learn is an external expression, external form of the incorporations that the nations has to go through. Alexander Mokdon, for example, and other processes in history which took place it is because there was a special need in the incorporation of the souls and this is how it was done. Not in such a nice way, obviously, but still. It was for the purpose of incorporation. So all this globalization that we now see and that we eat and clothe America or China, etc., this is an incorporation? Of course it is. And through that we well, this whole global crisis, I don't see a crisis in it, I see a revelation. The global world is revealed. 
Why do we call it a crisis? Because it is revealed in its true way, and it seems to us that it is broken, but it was broken even before. Nobody broke it. We discovered that we are in a broken relation. Before, we just didn't know about it. But it is all being revealed when we have revealed the connection between us out of the incorporation which came from many actions and wars. See how the England uh, conquered India and how America is involved with China, the Japanese had uh, were involved in the Second World War. So we don't know why it all happens in such a superficial way we can see it but from within when we see the need the purpose of the incorporation between souls these and those we can really see that these actions has to happen either in a good way or in a bad way but it has to happen because the revelation of the incorporation or the lack of the right incorporation has to be revealed here and as a result, we will reach the correction. Now, let's take it, as you said, closer to us for realization. In a few days from now, we will be in a very big gathering. So what is the incorporation there in the convention? Well, first of all, also in the convention and in our daily life, when we are even in the morning lesson, this is actually the center of our incorporation when we come to the morning lesson. We have hundreds of thousands of people studying with us from all over the world, and they're with us during the day also. So we are incorporated from the same source, from the same material, from the same inclination and direction. We then enter the stimulator and the blog. We sing the same songs. We leave one topic. And that one topic includes us and makes us incorporate from one another. So every day we cause a greater and deeper incorporation between us until we reach a state which is called Avut, Mutual Guarantee which is the general incorporation between us in such a way that at least in the minimal first spiritual degree where we will be included in such a way so that the light will be able to illuminate in us. So what, what is happening there? What happens there is quite simple. If we are in a box and in that box let's say we have desires so every desire has to connect to other desires. Etc. So just imagine desire number one, two, three, four, five, six, doesn't matter. Every desire has to be included with the rest of the desires. So there are 24 desires here, I think. So each of them has to be in the intensity of 24. After it happens where everybody has 24 for the first time, then we have 24 in a square, in a square. These are higher degrees. But the first spiritual degree is that everybody is in incorporated with everyone else for the first time, one time. So 24 desires, each included from 24. This is the Avut, this is the mutual guarantee. We come to this, then we're equal to the light, the light of Nefesh. The light of Nefesh, which fulfills us. Why? Because we have reached a state where we're all incorporated with everyone else. Each of us loses himself in everyone else, and each of us observes everyone in himself. That's it. That means that we are similar to the light in the first degree, in the first degree. I have nullified myself towards the others. I received their desires as my own. 
That means love thy friend as thyself. And that's it. Then I uh, already become equal to the light. And then the light fulfills me. And then we reach a state where that light fulfills and fulfills us completely. Which kind of light is that? This is the light of Nefesh. I hope you can see that. Uh, not so much. Okay, so this is our Nefesh, the light of Nefesh that fulfills us. Now, what do we do? We have to expand. No, we don't have to even expand. But now, where everybody is interconnected to 24 other desires, if we multiply our incorporation in a deeper depth, a depth where? To the extent that we are incorporated from one another. So now I become incorporated from everybody and everybody is 24. Then it is I get from a system of a small incorporation into a more internal, complex, refined system of incorporation. And then instead of the light of Nefesh, I come to the light of Ruach, to a higher degree, and so on. And the more we are incorporated from one another, totally different these uh, forms are revealed. If I was incorporated with others in, in the light of Nefesh, so in the light of Ruach, I have a different kind of incorporation. I have a completely different kind of attainment, a deeper attainment. And then into another dimension, I cannot draw it here, but into more and more dimensions. And then it's like... Uh, And then it's like uh, the house of bees, but in spirituality, this is something else. Uh, I reach a state where I build a ball, which is a sign of perfection. And this is done through the incorporation. I'm sure everybody has many questions about it, but this action and the result of it, this is something really wonderful. So let's read a quote which speaks exactly about state. At quote number eight, where the Rabash says in the writings of the Rabash in the article called The Love of Friends. Therefore, there is only one advice. If you individual who has a small force that it is worthwhile to exit self-love gather Everyone has at least in potential the matter of the love of the Creator, but in practice they cannot keep it. Then, when everybody enters into the society and nullifies himself to the society, then they become one goof, one body, which is comprised for, from ten people, for instance. And then this body has ten times greater force than the individual has. This is only in the first time, but there is an opportunity to multiply that degree more and more by multiplying the incorporation, because everybody is very much complicated and comprised from everyone else. don't know how to say it. I cannot stop myself, because if we're talking about the first nine in Malchut, uh, as we speak, so we have Malchut and the first nine. Here is the first nine. First nine, these are the qualities of the Creator. And Malchut is the will to receive of the creature. So where does Malchut receive anything from anyway? only because these first nine are incorporated in her. Meaning Malchut swallows the first nine in her and Malchut herself becomes ten sefirot. So 
So through that, the creature, which is Malchut, the creature, it becomes like the Creator. It observes from him the first nine. So here we have Chesed, Gvura, Tiferet, Netzach, Chod, Yesod, Malchut, all the qualities enter Malchut. We learn it in the wisdom of Kabbalah, only we don't emphasize so much that it is a result of the incorporation. When we say in the world of Atzilut, Malchut rises as incorporated with the Anpin and higher uh, qualities, it is also an incorporation. We learn that our whole work is between Malchut and Bina. Malchut rises to Bina and is incorporated in Bina, and then Bina comes down to Malchut uh, and is incorporated with Malchut. And then as a result out of this incorporation between Bina and Malchut, we have our entire reality where we can correct ourselves because Malchut herself is just the will to receive. What can she do? And Bina is the will to bestow. And then the incorporation between them brings the creature the qualities of the Creator. So the, to the extent that we raise ourselves to Bina and we want to resemble the Creator, to such an extent the Creator can come down to us and permit to penetrate into us all His qualities. Bina is called Elokut, Godliness. The Creator. And this is how we come to all our corrections. So the incorporation, this is simply the only action which we keep carrying out whether we like it or not. Look at our world. This is also incorporation. The observing and emitting materials. Everything is done through incorporation. There is no other actions. Electrons connect to protons and other uh, chemical materials. They, come, they are distant or come closer in a magnetic or electric field. Everything is incorporation. And it's in and it's, and its very basics. Of course, this is the actions of the light and the kli. The light is first and the will to receive and the will to bestow. So this is the only action which keep on existing in nature and there is nothing else. Therefore, when we search how to measure the quality of our actions, we should always think about the incorporation. How much can I incorporate with as many souls as possible? Not children, not adults, uh, not actions in still vegetative, animate, or just people. We are talking about souls, to make it clear. Souls are the points in the heart. Therefore, if we come to such a great convention, where there are thousands of such sparks, points in the heart, and I am going to be incorporated with them, this is the most beneficial action for a spiritual progress. This is the most efficient, strongest action possible in reality, in all the worlds. Let's hear some questions. Hillel, Tzvi from Savion is asking, every speaking is more than all the animate in the world. So 10 in Avut, is it enough for their whole humanity to be incorporated in it? Yes. What he's asking, it's very complicated and I don't want to get into it. This is something we've learned in the perception of reality and we cannot uh, open that topic quite easily. It's not in our feeling yet so that we can speak about what we all feel. But even one is enough for us if he is incorporated from others to perform the end of correction to such an extent. Yes. 
Moti from Naotofeka is asking, how do we intensify the force of the Avut over the force of the separation so that it will connect us in the preparation to the convention and in the convention? Because we have no other choice. I see that I can't go anywhere. The world is falling apart. We begin to understand that the importance of unity has to be above everything else. I cannot force myself to think like that about the connection, about the incorporation. That is the most important thing. But if I come to a society, to a group, to such a great assembly where we all understand that in the incorporation, where we're all incorporated from one another, just imagine you're smart but around you you have 7,000 people who can give you their whole mind, energy, strength, everything. How much you can succeed as a result in a corporal way doesn't seem such a big uh, problem. Also a little bit more, 7,000 times more. Okay, fine. But in spirituality when you are incorporated from the force of the others, even one, I'm not even talking about everybody, by doing so you begin to acquire the spiritual kli, because the spiritual kli is built because you and me, and the shattering between us, there is hatred between us, and we are separated and we cannot see, we cannot bear tolerate one another, on top of us, we build a bridge of love. And as much as we have hatred between us, accordingly, we examine the intensity of love between us. So if we come to such a uh, realization, then even one already performs the correction. To continue that answer, Sagi from Ramat Sharon is asking if just one in a generation is enough. Not just in a generation, just one. So if we have one Kabbalist in a generation, why should we make an effort? No. In order to have such one, everybody has to make an effort. Because it's not Moshe, Abraham, or either one of them could have done it. Because humanity didn't go through this incorporation already. The shattering of the Tower of Babylon didn't occur yet, and the, say, the destruction of the first and second temple, where we learned that Galgalta and Enaim had to be broken and penetrate the Ahab of the nations of the world. It is written, people went to exile only in order to attach the souls of the nations to them, in order to be incorporated with the nations. There is a big body here called the nations of the world and there is a small body which is called Israel and then Israel has to penetrate the nations of the world they have to mix with them so that yeah, we're talking about internally but today we can't tell them apart you see how many people are awakened from Israel for the correction and how many from the nations of the world. Also a lot. Why? As a result of this incorporation. Here the incorporation was made. There was an incorporation. That is called the exile. The last exile especially. And now we, the sparks, the points in the heart are awakened today and only now, after such an incorporation, we can perform corrections. And if all of us together will make mutual efforts, then of course we will reach a state where we will have one soul and we will all be incorporated in it. The one that performs the correction, it means that we will all become as one, that we will all force it to incorporate with everyone else. It's not you or someone else who is one. It is still like everyone else. This is the matter of the incorporation. This is what I'm trying to emphasize. Uh, let's have uh, some questions from the uh, audience. Let's start with Hanoch. The topic of incorporation slash uh, self-nullification. It's not new. No, it's not self-nullification. In what do I nullify myself? Here in the last quote we read, he writes, the Rabash writes, 
then when everybody enters the society and nullifies himself towards the society, then it becomes one body. He nullifies himself to the society because as a result he acquires the whole society. Okay. You're a businessman. You know that now I nullify myself, I enter a new business, I work hard, and then I gain thousands times more. So you nullify myself, or are you about to make a profit? Is that considered self-nullification? I'm going to make a profit, and here you're going to lose? No, I'm not saying I'm going to lose. You are going for the incorporation. You are going to acquire the will to receive of everyone else in order to take uh, the jackpot. Yeah, but more tried it through history. So what? And in the last few hundred years, usually it led to some uh, uh, regimes, uh, dictatorship regimes. It wasn't incorporation. You're talking about fascists and communists. Fascio is connection. Fascio means connection because it wasn't an incorporation so that we will un all unite into one soul and that we will unite with the upper force because the whole creation well when you want to do something in the world well you're a lawyer when you want to do something in life uh, I think that this is how you should examine things perhaps you think uh, differently, but when a person understands something in life, especially a lawyer, you examine yourself through the book of laws or how you can bypass the laws. So, what should we do as Kabbalists? We have to look at the creation, according to which laws it exists, according to which incorporation it works. Why did it start the creation to start with? Who started it? The upper force. The upper force. Why did he do that? so that it will reach its own degree. Did the fascists or communists, although each of them wanted to unite the nation, every ruler, ruler, they all did it for their own benefit, but what they did, the incorporation and the unity, including uh, the people in the kibbutz or socialists here in Israel or all over the world, do they match the same plan of the creation? That's the whole thing. If I plan something, first of all, I have to see if it is suitable to the nature. If not, then I will fail. They didn't know about it. They didn't examine it. Uh, it was... Uh, you see, you see how much blood, sweat, and suffering and all, and they failed. And see what they're doing today also. And they don't want to hear anything, and they will fail. No plan will succeed. Humanity is about to fail more and more and more in all its plans. Why? Because it's not matching the general process and the incorporation we should come to. We discovered that we should be more incorporated. That's obvious in the global and world and integrated connection. The world discovers that we're all integrated, so let's behave accordingly. But does anybody do that? No. Everybody is trying to steal something from the, for themselves. But you're in a whole mechanism. This is all your family. But I don't feel it. Yeah, you don't feel it. But meanwhile, it's like you uh, have anesthesia in your leg and you cut it off and you don't feel it. Nobody wants to listen. And the wisdom of Kabbalah comes and says, yeah, that's true. They won't listen. We have to open up their eyes. All they have to do is open up their eyes. We have to draw the upper light so that it will disclose that we're all connected like that. If I won't discover that the other one is a part of my body, a part, a part of my soul, that is, then, of course, I will always treat him like to a stranger. I have no choice. 
I live in a system of laws. Therefore, we have to discover our incorporation either through the light of the Torah, the light that reforms, or through sufferings, and that is called the path of Torah or path of suffering. So we are working with respect to incorporation. And what we are about to do now in all of humanity, those who are Kabbalists, they are going to know their general incorporation through the upper light in a good, short way. Those who don't want to do it through the wisdom of Kabbalah, they are going to realize that they are incorporated through wars, hatred, collisions. But still, we will reach the same result, both of us, we and them, that we're all integrated from one another in a total way like cells in a living body, and we cannot escape that. And then those who have the wisdom of Kabbalah, they will come to a correction, and the others, after they will suffer for a while, they will take that method also, and also reach a correction. So even now, we are working towards the incorporation. Usually, I don't look at the material when, before I come to the lesson, I didn't know that you chose such a powerful topic. This is the foundation of everything. If the light doesn't enter the Kli, then how can the creature can blossom, advance, or do anything? More questions, please. I'm a new guy, and I came to the convention. I see a great gathering. In order to incorporate what should I do? I don't feel like dancing because I'm new. I don't feel like joining all these activities. If I do it above my unpleasantness, is it called above reason? The main thing is to feel comfortable. If you will feel comfortable, if you will sit and drink a cup of coffee, have a cookie, smoke a cigarette, talk to someone, and the rest, let them dance, jump, or listen to my lecture, and you're sitting in the backyard, outside on the lawn. The most important is to feel comfortable. The incorporation will come to you nonetheless. Just by coming to such a great event, it will happen. This is the only practical action you have to do. You don't have to do anything else. People don't come to study. This is not a study event. People really come to incorporate. But it is done internally, and a person doesn't even know how. But you are in a place where... After hours, when you come out of there, you don't know how much you've gained. It's like we drew it here before, how much you are incorporated from everyone. So just imagine three days with 7,000 people whom you don't know, but it doesn't matter. Inside, this connection keeps working. You simply turn yourself from a point into a line and from a line to a square and from a square to other shapes until you reach a shape of a ball. So what is your inclination? I want to open up my soul. And where do our soul comes from? It comes from the incorporation. I myself, I'm not a soul. I'm just a point, my point. That's it. Where does the soul come from? If I'm incorporated with others, then we have a soul from the incorporation. So this is what I want. This is why I come. Because I'm just a point in the heart. That point was ignited by the Creator, and I won't receive more than that. All the rest will be as a result of incorporating with others. This is why I come to the convention. 
And if I will smile or with a serious face, will hug people or not, doesn't matter. It is completely irrelevant. Be as you are, you come to a certain environment, a certain atmosphere. That is called the influence of the environment on man. You came there, now influence me. That's all you need. Okay? Well, let's see you. Yes, please. Yitzhak, you had a question. I wanted to ask. This coming to the convention, if I understood you correctly, you said that it depends that incorporation. So I understand that there is an, an incorporation anyway, and if there is an incorporation anyway, so why should I go there? Let others reveal it. No, but everybody has to be incorporated with others. I have to submit myself to the public to incorporate. Well, here we have desires strange desires. I have to be incorporated. I only have a desire of one point which is not even a volume. It's just a point. I need this whole volume. This is the Kli. This is my Kli. Here is my Kli. All of it. This is my Kli. I have to attach all of it to me. Then it will be my soul. Yeah, but if I understood you correctly, the, inc the incorporation happens anyway. We're all interconnected. No, it connects to each other, but it is as if this is detached from me. The connection is there, but I don't revive it. It is as if I'm unconscious, and I'm talk we're talking about what I feel, and I feel in this world, meaning what I feel in that point. If I will start to be incorporated with that great Kli, then I will start feeling, according to that Kli, I will start feeling the world of Asiya, Yetzira, Bria, Atzilut, Adam Kadmon, and this whole Kli will be the world of Ensof. And this revelation will come if... Uh, it will happen if I will come to the convention. Yeah, you can discover this whole Kli in a few hours, a few moments, or a few days. It's all up to you. You can acquire your whole world even in one hour. So you're talking about uh, paying cash. Yeah, perhaps, yeah. I cannot guarantee anything, but let me tell you this. We are... In a part, we are a part of this general soul, and everybody here has his own point, and everybody has to be incorporated with others. So this is the question. When I'm incorporated with others, and you are incorporated with others, there's the general program. Who has to be incorporated, and in which intensity first? And according to this general plan, perhaps you more and I less, and he more and I and him less. But this is a general plan which is not up to us. Therefore, we're not talking about it. I'm just mentioning it because this, because this is one body, because this is all one body. So we have to understand that everybody also has his own time, his own pace in the advancement. We're not talking about us, it's not up to us. It's like what happened to us through history. It's like we were brought here and we're here. We are, it's not up to us. But the Wisdom of Kabbalah is talking about what is up to men, what he can do in the framework where he is given the opportunity. Because if this general plan is that you have to advance now the region, the area you're in, and let's say the whole of the soul, this part of the soul is called Rosh, head, and I'm a part of the leg. So let's say you have to be first and I'm later. Although we see in a fetus how it develops, first some organs develop more than some others. 
Therefore, you see, everyone has his own special time. But if you have the opportunity, if you were given the ability to come and be incorporated with everyone else, grab it, hold on to it, because perhaps in the next moment the plan will move on. You advance nonetheless, but it might be in a bad way through sufferings like the rest of the world instead through the light. Well, last question. Uh, understood the incorporation pretty well. It all sounds very logical. What I didn't understand, and you emphasize it in the beginning, is that the incorporation brings the revelation, the disclosure of the hatred. Why is it so important? Until I don't know you, there is no incorporation between us. There is no disclosure of a connection between, between us. So I feel no hatred towards you. You might be in Alaska, I don't even know you, but the closer you are to me, I put an eye on you. You are my neighbor. I have some criticism ab about you. You know that. Uh, this is not so good. Uh, sometimes you make noise or you make a mess. Your baby cries. Then we reveal in the world how much we're all interconnected. And that connection, because we're all egoistic, our ego plus, plus the connection equals hatred. Yes. So, uh, does it continue all the way through? When does it stop, this hatred? It doesn't stop. We have nowhere to go to. That's the problem. Now they're looking for a planet like Earth in uh, some remote galaxy. Perhaps we'll go there. See what we came to. Let's look for another place where we will we'll be. There is nowhere to run to. This is a wedding without divorce. We have to make peace, meaning wholeness between us. Although we are incorporated without any differences and without any limits, the only solution is wholeness. Connection, love thy friend as thy self. That's the only solution. Perhaps one last quote before we end. Love thy friend as thyself. Rabbi Akiva says, this is a great rule in the Torah. Meaning, if you keep that rule, all the details, but the particulars are included there. Meaning, we'll come to everything on its own without any exertion. And that's all we can do. So we'll see you. We will all incorporate in the convention. See you in the next show. All the best.